Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome <laughs> to the Rainbow Beefkin stream. I'm Chicken Eye Eye, and with me is Beef Sinapi. Hello, and I think I am feeling a bit more better. Oh my god, why suddenly there's so many ants here? <laughs> <laughs> Ant attack. Mm -hmm. Well, good for Senapi for feeling better. I am yes. also feeling better. And yes. today we are continuing with the Vita Farm Life Simulator. Yay! TBD Hakwa. I read that shit just now. TBD Hakwa. Yeah, I saw this one. Yeah, yeah. TBD TBD Hakwa. What the? TBD King who give us fucking what? <laughs> yes, room one is always crazy. <laughs> Edging and grinning. Oh my yeah. god. I don't even know what month is. <laughs> no, every the room the room one in Hong Kai in fact is like very freaky. They say every time you go to room one is very freaky. We need to stop it. So yeah. These are my people. Dripping yes. cheese all over my tooth. <laughs> 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 Also, the Terry oh, Terry's magical quest is bad, but we won't be playing that because we played before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no more. We've done that shit, man. I don't want to replay that again. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Yes. Wait, which one is it? The working one? The ni yeah, the part where like the broboli. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yang basirin punya the broboli. Yes. Oh, I understand. I remember. Yeah, we went there together, so no need to play. <laughs> A brocholi. Yeah. <laughs> Broboli with crust. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know this one. Is my voice detected? Just in case. <laughs> yes, I can hear. Yeah, that's kind of great. You didn't do that. Hi, Grace. Oh. Do you have an art block, Gracia? It's just some trouble interpreting documents. I can solve it myself. Thank you. Are you sure? You don't need my help? Can you just get me a cup of coffee? Okie dokie! Oh, that reminds me. Have you read the uh, Gracia and Vita uh, fanfic that I sent to you? <laughs> I know, but I saw. <laughs> yeah, I'm not blessed. I'm just this like, right. Yeah, you're like, God has ascended. Like, finally, I don't care when it's worse, but yes, finally, a fan thing about <laughs> them. Yay! <laughs> In the hastily repaired lab, two figures were busy at the control panel. Ronya, will this component work? No, the structure needs further adjustments. Hmm, what about this piece? That one's no good either. After a lengthy process of elimination, Bronya leaned back in her chair, thoroughly deflated. None of them fit. I knew trying to design the missing parts with our imaginations alone would be a challenge. Should we take a break? You've been at it all. You've been at this all morning. You must be exhausted. It's fine. I'm used to going this hard when it comes to work. Besides, I'm genuinely curious about these instruments. According to the data, the generic recombination machine in the lab can genetically modify simulated beast fossils. This means if we restore it, we can create more rare simulated beasts. How exactly the, does this machine work? Does it? Before Bronya could finish her words, a soft, fluffy, U-shaped pillow envelope enveloped her neck, releasing a delightful fragrance. Apabila istinya workaholic, it's time for you to rest. Is it? Ruminating over this problem endlessly won't solve anything. What do you say we set an alarm and take a nice cat nap? A comfortable pillow, a quiet room, an undisturbed afternoon, and of course, your wife. <laughs> yes. A precious moment spent with Zede. Yes, yeah, same also, same meaning, your wife. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, Zere. I suppose I am a bit tired. Let's put these parts aside for now. Can I play thing dulu boleh dehat? You want to rest together? Wink, 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 wink. <laughs> Brenda closed her eyes and leaned against Zere's shoulder. As her thoughts grew hazy, a heavy cloak of sleep began to wrap itself around her. Bye. Kacau ah. Hey everyone. Your ever so reliable V has brought help to save the day. Hey, kacau ah ni. Balik ah. Oi, bora. Where's the coffee, huh? Ah, I thought we were getting coffee, huh? Tak bila mengacau. Dot dot dot. Um, did we arrive at a bad time? No worries. They wouldn't turn down good news delivered right to their doorstep. All the missing parts for the lab instruments have been made. That was fast. What are they? Once Cyan learned about your predicament, he stayed at the processing plant and researched non-stop. Oh shit, I got crumbs all over my shit. Yeah. <clears throat> no. Crumpy shirt. Come at that. Okay, okay. But you can't eat biscuits in peace. <laughs> well, I figured that since the plant and the lab are so close together, the parts produced in the former must have been intended for use in the latter. Sure enough, I found all the instrument blueprints in the old library. I see. Thank you for going to through, for going to all that trouble for us, Cyan. Oh, it was nothing. I just did what I could. All right. Now that we delivered the message, we won't disturb you any longer. Sweet dreams. And she does know. <laughs> yeah, she definitely did that on purpose. Yeah, how wake up, wakey, wakey. <laughs> As Vita spoke, she actually appeared to be closing the door and pulling Cyan along. Aww. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go there, enjoy yourself. Go you cry. <laughs> it's a bit late to mention not disturbing us when you've already gone and done it. Now that you've efficiently chased away my drowsiness and we've made some headway, let's dive back into work. You mean effectively? I heard you say efficiently. <laughs> oh, okay, effectively. I apparently can't tell the difference between those two words. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's start sorting out the parts then. Boo! No gay gay moment. Vita Destroy's game moment. <laughs> Off to her head. <laughs> Wait, they are exhausted. Pain. Yeah. Vita's like, I can't uh, cuddle cuddle with uh, Putu Grishu, so I'm going to ruin your moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dasa pengacau rumah tangga. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking you're trying to say microwave. No, why? <laughs> hey, no, that's not you a microwave. The, <laughs> you know the meme, the microwave. Mm, maybe I go. <laughs> Science lab is finally up and running. Yep. Mm, look warm. Look warm. Yep. <laughs> what? Look warm? No. <laughs> the crumbs. <laughs> oh, the crumbs. Yeah. Okay. Look at the warm. Oh, 
<laughs> it's not lucrum it would look more messy <laughs> <laughs> According to the manual, to create an entirely new simulator piece, just place existing simulator piece in the lab to perform genetic recombination. To ex tap to expand the lab genetic recombination slot. Next, place the simulator piece in each slot. In the slots, each simulator piece can only undergo recombination one time. Oftentimes, the resulting simulated beast part of fossils' potential will be somewhere between simulated beasts that underwent recombination. But if both beasts have high attributes, there's a chance of mutation, resulting in a fossil with even higher potential. Each genetic recombination consumes one reagent with a type required dependent on the simulated beast potential. Unfortunately, we don't have any regions right now. We'll, go we'll have to go to Bronya and ask for some. If you're looking to learn more, check the detailed information on the lab. Science lab! Basically saying the same thing earlier. Ah, my ass. Oh, game! <laughs> you have to go talk to, Br uh, to Branya. Oh, I didn't read. <laughs> Bruh, I read it. Core components loaded. System up and running. Initiating phase 1 genetic recombination experiment device. Toot toot! That does not sound like a toot toot. <laughs> As Branya pressed the switch, the genetic recombination experiment device word to life. But suddenly, something went awry. An ear-piercing alert echoed through the lab, and the device powered down. What happened? Did I bring the wrong parts? Let me have a look. We're missing a region to trigger the recombination reaction. To prevent any overly volatile reactions, the device automatically shut down. The manual had a schematic of the region. But going on its appearance alone felt like looking for a needle in a haystack. Wait, the appearance of this regent? Could it be a coincidence? Cyan rummaged through his backpack and pulled out a shiny new vial of regent, virtually identical to the one in the manual. In the past, the simulated beast produced a similar byproduct by sheer hap happenstance. I figured the lab could use it, so I brought some along. Let me see. It seems to match the example in the manual. We can give it a try. I knew we could count on you, Cyan. The pleasure's all mine. Alright then, initiating phase 2 genetic recombination experiment device. Toot! Then toot! Oh. <laughs> Yay! Welcome to Science Lab. Exposed simulated beast. Blah blah blah. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Uh. Yay! We have one region. Uh. Oh, it takes a minute. Uh, it's just one minute? Doesn't seem like a minute. <laughs> it's just one minute, 20 seconds. But still, why are they back to back? <laughs> oh. Okay. oh, same shit. I go fishing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fish for a minute. I ended up fishing for one hour. <laughs> Bruh. What you doing there, fishing? Yes. Fish, fish.
Hustle. Then quick. I heard a yawn. <laughs> I yawned. Then now I'm yawning. Maybe I. Yum yum. Hey, hard best. Yes, but the low. Goblin Gen 2, okay? You Gen 2. I do it. My fucking jaw. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it is done. This device can actually produce new fossils, and the newly activated simulated beast will carry traits from previous generation. Yeah, this means <laughs> this means we can rewrite the genetic information within the fossils to obtain more rare simulated beasts. Now that I'm armed with this newfound technology, it's time for me to put my previous ideas into practice. You mean cultivating revolutionary simulated beasts? I can't wait to see what you come up with. Uh... Wow, wow, wow. Their way to success. Their way to heaven. Okay. <laughs> I won. <laughs> it's a song. No. No. <laughs> Wait, how do I how do I get the crystal? Yeah. Yeah. How the fuck do I get more crystal? Yeah. Do I buy them? Yeah. <laughs> You'll never know. Meow. Bye. Uh, uh, I science buy. Yep. I buy them. Bye. No. I'm Okay, go fishing again. Let's <laughs> go fishing. Let's go fishing. Oh my god! Ow. Fishing, fishing. Oh wait, wrong, wrong aim. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, yum, yum. It's a shooty. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, I think then I'm done fishing for today. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough fishing for today. <laughs> and the. Uh... Oh boy, a fossil! Eh? Okay. Oh boy! Oh, okay. Science lab. Oh fuck. Okay. Seconds. Time to talk something about 24 seconds, 33 seconds. E thank you, Disney. Uh, uh, e thank you, Disney. Did you know that you can download Manga Plus on uh, Google App Store? Manga no, Plus we don't recommend piracy, man. <laughs> no, it's not piracy. It's right. the official Shui Shopunya. It's called Manga Plus. Uh, it's free for you to read any manga once. So okay. if you want to read it again, you have to pay. But it's like a really good alternative to, you know. Oh, 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 oh. oh, sorry. Oh, we're done. Okay. Ignore my yawning. My yawning, yawning. Yodly, yodly. Yodly, yodly, yodly. Pity. Bitchy. <laughs> e Klaim. 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 Klaim.
Pepe Papa Ranch. Ranch. Papa Dom. Papa Americano. Eh? Okay na yun. Papa Dom, Papa Dom, Papa Dom. Papa Dom sedap. Papa Dom sedap kalau free. <laughs> uh, itulah. Sekarang ni Papa Dom kena charge. Lusin. Let's swing it. Tak lah. <laughs> Alright. Time to eat. Moose? Oh, okay. Alright. Time to eat, Moose. No need to fight. For there's plenty of water to go around. Why does she sound so British? I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You want to be Bukau? Nah. I, no, I think the moon's mm. already got sound, so I don't even need to do the moon. Okay. I mean, I heard it after I asked you. <laughs> huh? Was that a thank you, Nuzzle? Aw, how adorable. Weren't we supposed to head to the beach to catch the sunset? If we don't leave soon, the sun will be gone by the time we get there. I'm having a moment with my moose, man. Shut up! <laughs> Can we just stay a little longer? I want to spend more time with these little cuties. Fine. We can still see the sunset from here. Man, she just can't win with this nice daily. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> says so. She will accompany you. Uh, yes. Zelia glanced at her other self, surrounded by animals smiling brightly, and shook her head with a sigh. She's hopeless. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should take something back as a keepsake for her. A cow, maybe? Nah, that'd be impractical. Chickens or ducks? Nah, too noisy. Bawa balik. Kapa dagi dagi lembu. Oh my god. I hear you like cows, so I brought one back for you. Here the potong. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> she drifted into a di into daydreams until a black cat lazily sp sprawled on the fence, caught her eye. That is ink splat. Whatever his name is. All right. Didn't the little Vitas mention they couldn't find the cat's owner? With that thought, she reached out to the feline. Just as her fingers brushed near its neck, the cat cracked open one eye and gave her a cold, dismissive glance. Almost in instantaneously, it jumped off the fence and vanished from sight. Dang, that little one was fast. Hey, who look, uh, look who's got time to lounge around. I do, I do. <laughs> huh? The Hershey of Sentience uh, strutted over. Two simulated bees perched on her shoulders like massive shoulder pads. <laughs> what in the world are you going for with that look? It's fashion. <laughs> Allow me to introduce my l new left and right hand helpers. General Flying High and General Ever Victorious. Uh, bro, gila, name sense, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty impressive, huh? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> then he blinked at the overly literal interpretation of left and right hand hel helpers, unsure as to how to respond. Ah, uh, yeah. Those names are indeed very you. <laughs> Was one flying... Oh. Flying fast not enough for you. Are you planning on making every simulated beast a general now? <laughs> <laughs> Please, you think my standards are that low? Yes. If flying fast hadn't vanished, I wouldn't have to had. I wouldn't have had to go through all the trouble of messing with fossils and breeding these two replacements. Wow, breeding. Hmm. I was scratching my ears. Ah, yes, okay. No, no. <laughs> Vanished. <laughs> Are you actually incapable of keeping track of a single simulated beast? You really do live up to the title of her share of sentience. <laughs> uh, she pissed. <laughs> For once, she fell silent and appeared a bit self conscious. No! <laughs> <laughs> Who knows where it ran off to? I've turned this whole bubble universe inside out and still nothing. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's disguised as. Uh, so, earlier during lunch, I had hot dog and it was good. <laughs> oh, wow. Hot dog is always great. I'm just going to eat for your hot dog, <laughs> but it's good. 
Oof, mahal. Oh shit, no, I take it back. The 7-Eleven... Where was it? 7-Eleven at my workplace has bad hot dog. I don't know why they gave me a dick-shaped hot dog that was <laughs> fried to hell. And there was like, the meat inside was like so little and the skin was like crunchy mm-hmm. and it tasted bad. How much was it? Nah, three bucks. Oh, my bro. I had the 9-9-9-0-9-0-1 pinyo hot dog. Uh, oh, 1901? I love yeah. them. Yeah. I wanted to take the wrap, but it's like a hot beef. So, okay, I'll just take the, the, the hot dog, and the hot dog is good. Nice! I haven't had 1901 in forever. Because near the venue that was like boofing, got the, the, that was, was like the fastest to have. Like, okay, I'm just gonna buy a hot dog. Ah, understandable. Hmm. We hot should dog. go get some hot dog again at IKEA. <laughs> IKEA was good. Hell yeah. yeah. IKEA has good hot dogs, but they took away all the dill pickles and onions. So you only have they... sauce only. Really. But what's needy? Yeah. Yeah, it's like kering as hot dog. Like, what the fuck? No toppings? The hell? It's a D. <laughs> right. I think it's because people used to steal it or something. Uh, I don't I guess. know what they did. I mean, at least they could just put the condiments just in front of them or anything. <laughs> Uh, right? They could like, like, put it behind the counter or something. Why do yeah. they have to cancel it then? Can. I mean, same to the yogurt as well. <laughs> yeah, soy, soy bean ice cream instead. Anyways. Oh, yeah. Oh, my nose. <laughs> yeah. Sure. My inner oh, ears is feeling off. very itchy. So I'm feeling poor ah. today. <laughs> Understandable. Funny, I was just thinking about who I could rope in to help. And look at that. Problem solved. <laughs> Where did you pop up from? And what kind of help are you talking about? What kind of ridiculous plan are you cooking up now? We're not going to get a- go along with any random hair-brained he- uh, hair-brained scheme you've concocted this time. So many questions. Hmm, where to begin? Oh, Harmonious Vita is you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sure. Yep. They'll be hearing me blowing my nose. Anyway. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Oh my god. <coughs> a small figure peeked out from behind B- Vita. Waving a newly printed blueprint. It still gave off a sharp smell of pre- uh, fresh ink. Oh. My god, why is her name uh, her name so purple? <laughs> Can't see shit. <laughs> anyway. Prometheus and Hare helped us redesign the ranch to add workspaces for simulated bees, so I brought V along to help me with the renovation. <laughs> ah, that's... It's pretty overwhelming job for just the two of us, though. We also haven't finalized the list of simulated bees we want to work on. We want working on the ranch yet. If you ask me, those two perched on your shoulders would be perfect candidates. I'm sure our dear Zenes and the ever so generous Hershey of Sentience wouldn't have it in their hearts to refuse us. So, that's what this is about. Well then, Zene. This un- This unwieldy project is now- Wait, what? What the fuck is this sentence? <laughs> this unwieldy project is your problem now. There you go. Wow, the rule Before anyone else could react, the Hershey of Sentience along with her two simulated bees had already marched off, her voice trailing <laughs> off into the distance. Me and my mighty generals working for free in your dreams. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That girl. She left in an awful hurry. I didn't even get the the chance to tell her the bit about using simulated beasts was just a joke. So, Purple, what do we need to do? 
Yeah. Uh... Oh my god. Simple. All we need to do is build the work areas for the simulated beast to tend to the animals. Her and the others have already figured out how to let simulated bees raise the animal in their own. Once they enter the work areas, they'll automatically get down to business. Let's get down. <laughs> uh, <yeah. coughs> oh, and there's also a fishery. We'll get to see the. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, false alarm. Okay. Oh, and there's also a fishery. We'll get to see. Oh my god. <laughs> we get to see simulated beasts getting some poly egg legged. Sounds fun. Sede, why do we stick around and help out? But the sunset. Oh, whatever. Bless. Fine. Do as you like. Seizing is a sign of getting back. Copium. Zele looked to her other self, whose eyes were sparkling with excitement. She swallowed her words and and a resigned smile tugged at her lips. Macam apa? Uh, uh, but, uh, she's hopeless. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on, oh, God, sorry. Animals. <laughs> it's probably better to stick with Simile the Beast. Hey, two new buildings have been unlocked. Let's go to the town overview and have a look. Yeah. Looks like Purple's Ranch and Yellow's hey, Fishery oh, have no, been no, Here they can fish and take care of small animals. What a life. Whoa, looks like we've produced quite a bit. Just like with crops, they can be exchanged for mineral crystals. With all this production, the bubble universe will be re rebuilt in no time. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, I yarm. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Fluffy. <laughs> Oh, yep. Yeah, what happened? That's too cute. Oh, sorry, night. Oh, yeah, sorry, night. Send the product from the range. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, 20. Um, mata <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> so I have a minute for everything. I think it should be built. Oh. Maybe I can tell something. Meow meow. Yeah. Yay. Mmm, food. <laughs> Yay. Gobbling. Watch gobbling. No. He he he, crush gobbling. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> 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 That's what you call children. Watch goblin, yes. Hot 
green. Oh, golden ore. <laughs> Cinta ma. Eh. Uh. Oh, Grisho. Eh. Ascendant gitu. Ascendant gitu. Understandable. Wait, did you read this? Yes? Uh, no. Okay. V, we just took the most crucial step in rebuilding the bubble universe. All the basic infrastructure is ready, and the simulated beast can start working now. So, we can start gathering energy soon? Kintama. Finally! No more soul-crushing labors that go on without end. This is the best news ever! <laughs> v. I hate to burst your bubble, but I've got some bad news. I found me bad news. <laughs> the current state of the bubble universe is far from ideal. Moreover, locating the energy stored device, storage device, and figuring out how to unlock it will require further research. In short, if you're only helping us gather energy, we'll be working together for quite a while yet. Huh? Guess you're right. Gathering all the energy a bubble universe holds would take plenty of time and patience. I'm not surprised. I say, we treat this as a chance to get a catch up with old friends. Okay. Business manager. Wah, 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 wah. I need to make it for 20. <laughs> Oh, well, time to do the friend radar. Okay, what, what level we are again? Oh, level 5. Cheh, satu je, bet. Okay. Wah, terus outfit change. Oh my god. Wow. I have another... I have another bite. Today is the day that keeps on... What? Oh, this <laughs> sentence is weird <laughs> shit. Wow, I have another bite. Today is the day that keeps on giving. Oh, it's me. I forgot. Uh, I reply. <laughs> the client looks so different. Your swinging is impeccable and you have the composure. You don't look the least bit like an amateur having your first go at fishing when you're just fishing, okay? Aww. Thank you, Fuhua. It's all thanks to your coaching. However, I still have a long way to go compared to her short sentence. Fenty? I presume you're referring to the fish she brought back last time. She didn't catch them with a rod. Yeah, believe in day. I invited her to come fishing with me earlier, thinking I might do that fiery disposition of hers. But her patience only lasts five minutes. Yeah, bro. After that, she rolled her sleeve and went straight into the river to spear fish. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. No wonder she said she had a talent for fishing. She was able to bring back such a remarkable haul in only five minutes. It's a good time to fishing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a good time to put this good. It's a good good day to fishing, eh? <laughs> yeah. Ha 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 ha. She even tried to get me and Prometheus to help her electro fish, but I stopped them in time. She wouldn't stop whining because of it. I heard her short sentence is like that. As the other set, Zeta puts it, she's rather bold. Zeta would never admit it, but I think she's on good terms with the Hersher. Zeta talks about the other sailor from time to time, especially what you went through in the country of Iron Sand. That was quite a tumultuous journey. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> Tumultuous. <laughs> Yeah, we ran into our fair share of obstacles thanks to Vita. But we also grew from the experience. <laughs> Thank God, a new body now. <laughs> <laughs> Vita is... Wait, Dele, your rod. Her <laughs> rod? <laughs> <Bella>. <laughs> My rod? Ah, another strong bite! 
Another bite! It's strong! It must be a whopper! Ugh. Yeah, it must be Vita. Can do you. <laughs> Vita just be like, hey, what's up? Finally! Huh? Instead of the giant fish they imagined, they were staring at a simulated beast with eerie red patterns. Even more disconcerting concerting was that the beast was encased in a beaker not much larger than its own body and was still strugg struggling to free itself this simulated beast appeared uh, agitated it may have ingested some sort of stimulant and this beaker could occur there this beaker clearly doesn't belong to this bubble universe has someone been experimenting on simulated beasts more likely, Rachel and the other would never allow such experiments. The only one among us capable of this is... It's that Vita's fault! <laughs> <laughs> the two of them exchanged a knowing glance at the same, as the same name came to them. That of the woman they had just mentioned, whose thoughts and actions were always inscrutable. It's best not to assume without solid evidence. After all, she's contributed her fair share since we arrived in this bubble universe. And there's no indication that she'd do anything harmful. Yeah, maybe the beaker was left here by someone who happens. Who happened by... what? Who happened by this place? What? Who, who was left behind by someone who happened... what? <laughs> oh yeah, who happened by this place, yeah. <laughs> Why is this all so weird? <laughs> See, there's <laughs> even a name on it. Huh? Oh wait, that's you. <laughs> huh? Possessed. Huh. So it is you, Ita. The two of them follow the river to its source, their suspicion growing deeper with each step. The water became murkier as a strange stench continually wafted by. Upon reaching the headwater, Kepala Aye. Kepala Aye goes. <laughs> <laughs> a colossal building resembling a factory loomed before them, the roar of machines faintly audible from behind its thick metal walls. What stood out even more was that were the red letters printed on the factory gate. Vita's workshop. Oh, Vita gila. Entahlah. <laughs> I'm not exactly inconspicuous. I think she has no intention of keeping her whereabouts a secret. Fine by me, I'm ready. Open the gate. <coughs> the exclamation mark. Oh yeah, she's in a oh my god. The, uh, upper a side this outfit. Oh my god, a doctor's robe. Yeah. Kagaksha Vita. <laughs> oh, hello there. Fancy seeing you here. How have you been? Come on, don't be nervous. Make yourselves at home. What are all these strange instruments and chemicals? What are you trying to achieve? Goodness gracious, you're quite the aggressive one. And we've only begun talking. Oh, I get it. You must have seen that friend of mine who had escaped. What rotten luck. I thought we could have a good time together. Enough beating around the bush, Vita. You released that simulated piece on purpose to lure us over here, didn't you? Why? Very observant, Fuhua. You're a true detective. But you still followed my trail of breadcrumbs, even though you knew it could be a trap. Did you do that out of camaraderie? Or have you already figured out what I'm doing? It doesn't matter what you intend to do to those simulated beasts or this bubble universe. Now that we've uncovered this place, we're going to stop you, no matter what. You've got spunk. I like that. However, are you sure it isn't already too late? Rita blinked mysteriously as she spoke, putting a finger to her lips. Did you hear that? Tick tock, tick tock. Oh my gosh, she's been on TikTok. I've been on that TikTok. 
You've already lost your chance. It's my turn now. As your nemesis and the culprit of all crimes you believe me to be, I congratulate you. Buzz. That does not sound like a buzz. <laughs> you couldn't be more wrong. Okay. Yay, happy birthday. <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> cute. With a loud roar, the furnace behind Vita erupted, showering the entire workshop in a dazzling rain of candy. Huh? Are these... candies? They are. And what you from candy. And they're still <laughs> warm. Did you build this factory just to produce candies? Surprise! Do you like it? Why in the world would you do this? It's for the little bit of okay. <laughs> I don't know, cause it was fun. What? Is that not convincing enough for you? But what about those simulated beasts that are behaving strangely? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to help them wait, I wanted them to help me taste the prototypes. That's all. How could I how could I have known that sugar would drive them bananas? They'll be back in normal in no time. If you don't believe me, feel free to check with Gracie. Vita. He mustn't think so poorly of me. I can be honest from time to time. I don't have the heart to do anything terrible to a bubble universe as wonderful as this. Vita obviously came prepared. We're not going, going to get anything out of her. <laughs> Oh my god, it's up with the uh, perception punya. Oh yeah, I yeah. Yes, we're using Apple asset. Let's go. Yeah, reuse, reduce, recycle. Alright, enough with the pre pleasantries. It's time to get down to business. What do you want now? Take it easy. I just want you to help taste my new candies. Isn't that simple? <laughs> Sus <of> shit. <laughs> Drunk. Surely two kind and understanding souls like yourselves wouldn't refuse me. This is Vita we're talking about if you don't do as he said. He asked, he's liable to come with something even crazier. We should humor her, if only to prevent her, her shenanigans from escalating. Enjoy! Oh, wow, this one is parfait flavor. It tastes just like the real thing. This one tastes great too. Oh my god, Vita is becoming the Willy Wonka. <laughs> Someone's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> These are really just ordinary candies. The only thing special about them is their flavor. Vita must have put a lot of effort into developing them. But why could it be? Childlike figures suddenly came to Fuhua's mind. From what she knew of Vita's past, this was the only experience in which Candy played a part. Could it be for them? Would Vita really do such a thing? What are you thinking about, Detective Fu? Let me guess, you've already figured out that I've tampered with the candies. Bruh. Huh? That's right! I added a special ingredient in the few minutes that you were tasting them. They might be perfectly ordinary now, but one day, if I feel like it, they might just go kaboom! Oh boy, the anticipation is killing me! <laughs> We're not falling for the same trick twice. We exam examine all the candies and there's nothing out of ordinary about them. You never had a chance to tap with them, with them either. It's like going through all these just to put the screw the going all this just to put the screws to us is hardly your style, oh my god. <laughs> Aw, I didn't fool you. Teasing brain brainiacs like you isn't any fun. Guess it's back to the drawing board. But you were right about one thing. Rather than all the business about defeating you or conquering Conquering this bubble universe? It's much more fun to see you hang on my every word 
in hope of catching any inconsistency, only to realize I was really making gummy bears, and you show that funny face. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, they were suspicious of gummy bears this whole time. I don't know. You want to read this? Uh, sure. The, when the great detectives are wrong, reduces the stamina cost for activating simulated beast fossils to 12. The plan was to. Oh, okay. Uh, this time. Uh, uh, the plan was to go fishing, but now the basket is full of candy. Ha 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 ha. Maybe that's the true meaning of fishing. What the fuck does that mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> fishing uh. for candy. Uh, wait, and we're stuck here. Wait, can I? Can I <laughs> level up? Oh, it's good job. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, oh, it's level six. Careful. Ew. Ma, 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 ma. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six PGs. Ooh. Yay. Uh, yeah, I think. For the whole car, we stop here, but so we gotta switch to another game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one hour, then we stop. Same good. Another one All hour. Right. Okay, young starry lah. <laughs> Banana, nana. Banana. 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 Yo, yo. There's so much for that side. Um. We'll be right back. Boom.